today we are opening a box from parents specifically because we need proper fitment on the STI and the only way to get that was stock wheels, which is a good look by the way with the BBS, is with spacers and they sent out some 20 millimeter spacers. Oh wow, they sent us some swag. Oh, oh. You know they're sending that? No. <laughs> Sick. Super yurt. Stickers. And I already have the parent front license plate delete. So I'm already a fan. Ooh, got some swag. Gosh, I wish they made stuff for Z's. I know. That's a sick. Hold on. All right, got my proper attire on. Now. Oh, wait, there's more. Brake oh. master cylinder reservoir cover. Ooh. Not dope. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Okay. Ooh. These are nicely painted. And they're hub centric too. What does that mean? So this part right here, that means like so normally you can get a spacer without this and it can kind of just float around hub centric. You the, your hub has a little lip on it, and it'll sit within there, so make sure it's centered. Uh, They're nicer. Let's appreciate the quality, the color, the hub centricness. Just a good product. The good thing about these being black is they show behind your wheel, especially when you have a colored wheel and normally they're silver, like the ones you get on eBay and things like that. So when you spend a little bit more money for a quality product, it's gonna show in the overall look of your vehicle. You can see this is a normal silver one. Trevor's got two because we were test fitting some wheels. But, you know, you can see the quality difference here of what you're putting on your vehicle. Let's analyze the stock fitment so you have a really good understanding of before and after. You can't really see, if you're in person, you can't see the wheel. The tire should be poking a little bit, so it has an aggressive stance. But from factory, they don't give you that, so you don't have any clearance issues. Um, you shouldn't need to roll fenders or anything like that because these in the front are already rolled pretty well. But uh, that's kind of what it looks like. We need to get that way more out here. Got our spacer. It says right on it, 88 foot-pounds of torque, 20 millimeter, and it shows our lug pattern. Slide it on, put these on a couple threads by hand so we don't cross thread it. Grab our torque wrench, it's already at 88 foot pounds. done super stoked how it looks come up close like look from this angle you can now <laughs> you good Trevor <laughs> you follow the fender line and it touches the tire that's what we want this it's right past the fender at one point it's exactly what we want looking good it looks like we're not gonna have any rubbing issues if anything it's when we lower it which if you're at stock height I wouldn't trip you're good and once you lower it you only need to really roll the back and um, yeah Appreciate you guys watching. Check out the link for the parent spacers in the description. They're coated black, really, really nice. They come with lugs and everything like that that you need. And parent's a great company, so I appreciate it. Check it out, and um, hope you guys find your fitment on point. Later. Bye.